What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanted to take you through my week of medical school and show you what my schedule is like as a first year medical student. So today is Monday, July 25th, and we just started our first block of medical school. Our first official day was July 11th, but we had a two week orientation. So today was the first real day of school. Our first block is called Molecular and Cellular Principles. So it's basically an overview of a lot of the classes we took as pre-meds like cell biology, genetics, um, biochemistry. A lot of the material seems to be the same depth of, of what we learned in college, but it has some more clinical relevance. So, you know, when we're talking about different DNA repair mechanisms, we'll talk about some disease or syndrome, which is caused by a DNA repair mechanism not working. So I'm pretty excited for this class. It's like I said, it's gonna be a lot of overview, but we're kind of taking it that step deeper into clinical relevance. But like I said, the point of the video is to kind of take you through my week and show you what my typical schedule is like. So like I said, today's Monday, um, but I kind of want to start yesterday on Sunday and tell you what I did to prepare for today. So, so my school is a very big fan of a flipped classroom where you have a lot of pre-work that you have to do to give you like the foundational knowledge. And then when you come to lecture, it's less just being talked at and it's a little bit more interactive, you know, answering questions during lecture. And then also in small groups, it's definitely just... Uh, all sort of discussion based or going through cases together. So yesterday I had a bunch of pre-work. I think I watched like seven Boards and Beyond videos. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Boards and Beyond is a third party resource that, that has great online videos to summarize a bunch of different topics that you need for the board exam, step one and step two. So actually some of the upperclassmen kind of put together this really nice template. For all of our lectures, they kind of have the Boards and Beyond or First Aid, which is another resource. Um, they have specific videos from those resources that link up to the lectures that we're doing. So, uh, like I said, there, for today there's probably six or seven videos that I watched yesterday. And then I also did Anki cards related to them. And I'll go into Anki a little bit more, but it's basically like a space repetition flashcard software. So it's a way for you to keep testing yourself over and over again. So like I said, I watched some videos yesterday, then did Anki cards relevant to them. So then today, um, this morning, I reviewed some of those cards, then went to class. Um, we had, our first lecture was 8 o'clock to 10.30. That was on sort of cell cycle, meiosis, and mitosis. Then we had a little bit of a break, and then we had one of our small group meetings. So uh, the way that my school works in one of their small groups is on Monday, we have a what's called like a patient presentation. So we walk through this case similar to how you're gonna see it in clinic or the hospital, you know, it gives demographic information, like the patient's name, age, you know, what their chief complaint is. Um, and then it kind of gives you a bunch of stuff like their uh, history, physical exam, review system. So you kind of work together as a team to walk through this case and try to see what's going on with them and ultimately develop an assessment and plan. And the way that it's supposed to work is throughout the week we're learning sort of the basic science that's relevant to this patient. So um, just very briefly, ours has some sort of genetic disorder. They're a carrier for cystic fibrosis. So throughout the week we're gonna kind of learn about, you know, what does it even mean to be a carrier? What does that mean for a potential offspring of this patient? Um, you know, what, what are the odds that they're gonna have this disease? all that kind of stuff. And then on Friday, we kind of bring together all of the information that we learned throughout the week, and then we're much better able to come up with an assessment plan. So I really like how this is gonna work because each lecture, you're kind of always thinking like, oh, how does this relate to my patient? Um, it makes it a little bit more real instead of just memorizing a bunch of facts. So that was our second session, and then our last session of the day um, was on different mechanisms of DNA repair. Uh, so we got done with that at like 2.30, and then everyone went home. We didn't have any more like required class time after 2.30. So um, since then I came home and now I'm starting to do all the pre-work for tomorrow. Um, throughout the day I got a lot of my Anki done. I have like 40 more review cards to do. I'm definitely gonna have more on top of that based on the pre-work for tomorrow. But I'm sort of going through the lectures that I have tomorrow, which, uh, you know, Boards and Beyond videos are relevant to that. So I'm gonna watch those videos and then do all the relevant Anki cards, and then I'll pretty much be done for the day. We also have a quiz tomorrow. Well, it's called an IRAT. It's some acronym that I, I can't remember right now. Um, so I'm gonna be having to prepare for that. So that is gonna cover all the stuff we learned today and all the stuff we're gonna learn tomorrow. So that'll be fun. It's the first like actual graded assignment of medical school. Tomorrow's a little bit shorter of a day. Uh, I would say m most of my days start at eight o'clock. Um, 
So tomorrow is, I think it's 8 to 12.30, so it's really not that bad. And then the whole afternoon is just like up to us. So it's really nice that they give us that time to sort of prepare for the next day and then go over all the stuff we did that day. So that's really it for today. Like I said, I'm just gonna go through those videos to prepare myself for tomorrow and then do a little bit more on key. What is up? It is Tuesday afternoon, around 4.30. Right now I'm just kind of relaxing, going through some light work, but I just want to talk about what my sort of daily schedule was like today. So today I woke up around 6 o'clock and did a lot of my Anki that was due for today. I got through about 200 cards before we had to leave for school. So we left around 7.45 to get to lecture at 8, and then we had one big lecture from 8 to 10 and then we had a nice like 50 minute break. The next session was actually a small group session. Uh, it's called a team-based learning session. It's pretty popular in a lot of professional schools, medical schools. I know some other med students who their schools incorporate the same kind of process. And the way that we do it is we have sort of a individual quiz that we do. Uh, it's just 10 questions, 15 minutes, wasn't that bad. Um, and then we all come together as a group and go through the same exact quiz. Uh, so we can talk about what we thought our answers were uh, compared to our classmates and kind of work through it together. And the hope is that you do better on the team one than the individual one. And that was definitely our experience today. Everyone did okay, I think, on the individual one. It was a little tough um, because it was focusing on translation and we didn't actually have a lecture on it yet. We were a little confused. We thought that we were going to have a lecture on translation first and then do that quiz in that same session, but uh, it was kind of reversed. So at least we know now to do a lot of solid prep before those sessions so we are really well versed on the topic because we know we're not really going to get a lecture on it before we're having a quiz but i mean it went fine and then when we came together and did it all as a team we did pretty well and then after the team quiz we just had another like two or three more long form questions that we all worked through together we would have probably 15 or 20 minutes to talk about it and then we would all come together as a large group and then our facilitator would ask us to share what we were thinking about and why we choose the answers that we chose. And this is just a sort of a different way of learning. It's not just a straight up lecture. The questions the professor selected were very intentional. So after asking all of us why we chose our answers, he would kind of go into like a mini lecture, just like a, you know, five minutes, a few slides, kind of explaining the concept that he wanted us to sort of pull out from that question and understand. So that was the only other session of that day. So we ended around one o'clock, uh, came home, just relaxed and have just been working a little. We don't have any pre-work due for tomorrow because we have a clinical skills session. So tomorrow I'm gonna have to dress up in my fancy clothes and white coat, but it'll be good. Uh, really just for the rest of today, I'm gonna go play some spike ball with some classmates just to unwind and I might do a little bit more work later today, but that's pretty much it. Tuesdays, I think, are gonna be probably my easiest day, so I'm probably gonna try to do a little bit more YouTube stuff on those days, just because I have less academic requirements, and I'm also gonna use it as a day to kinda play catch up in my planning for the week. But yeah, that's really it for right now. Like I said, I'm about to go play spike ball with some classmates, me and my roommate are going, so I will see you guys soon. It is Wednesday afternoon, right before five. So I actually just got back from getting a new car battery. Uh, past few days, my car has been being really weird when it's starting, it's kind of stalling out. And then it, uh, when I just went to go try to lock it, the horn was like weaker for some reason. And I looked it up and that can also be like a battery issue. So. Went to an auto zone, uh, opened the hood, and there's a lot of corrosion, so got a new battery. Um, I tried to install it myself just by like trial and error, just because I wanted to learn how to do it. Um, I kind of figured it out, but the corrosion was so bad that like everything was fused together, so I needed help from one of the workers to really get it off there. Um, but car should be fine now, um, so I'm going back home uh, just to do some pre-work for tomorrow. I already finished all my Anki. Um, today was actually really nice. 
you guys saw earlier that uh, we had to dress up in our white coats. We had a clinical skills session where we talked about cultural humility. Um, everyone was kind of expecting just to have like a panel of a bunch of different people from different backgrounds, them just talking about their experiences in healthcare, but it was actually a lot better than that. There was one family who, without going into too much detail, um, parents were immigrants, both from Italy, and they had two uh, they had two children, one son, one daughter, who have a extremely rare condition. Like, we're talking maybe 20 people ever documented with this condition. Um, so they kind of talked about their experiences with the healthcare system. So it was a really great session, uh, super inspiring. I mean, their outlook on life was incredible. I mean, every single family member was amazing. So everyone really loved it. It was two hours long. Uh, we kind of wish it was longer. And then afterwards, we had a small group session and just kind of talked more about culture of humility, kind of reflected on that experience. So um, all in all, it was a, a pretty relaxed day. Uh, no like actual science content. It was just, like I said, clinical skills. And we just talked about cultural humility and why that's important to being a physician. Um, so we finished around 12, I uh, came home, relaxed for a little, did my Anki for the day, and then I and then I went to the gym, uh, and then when I got home from the gym, I noticed that, and then when I got home from the gym, noticed that my horn wasn't working, so I just went and got that done. Um, about five o'clock right now, so, so like I said, I'm just gonna do the pre-work for tomorrow, uh, and then call it a night. Thursday night. I had a busy, tiring day. I tried to film a lot of it though. This morning I tried to get up early, go to the gym, had a had a nice workout, uh, then, then sort of rushed to get ready, got to school on time. Uh, in terms of school, it was a pretty basic day, just two big lectures. The first one was on protein function, then the second one was actually on health system science. So that is one of our longitudinal courses, um, basically teaching us all the ins and outs of our healthcare system, and then eventually getting into policy and policy change and how we can, you know, improve our healthcare system down the road when we're physicians. I think a lot of schools have something similar. Um, I don't know if they have a full course on it, but we do. So I'm pretty excited to learn about it. I got a little bit of that in undergrad uh, because my major was in my school's school of public health. So I took some public health classes, so I kind of have a background on it, but it'll be nice to do a deep dive. I really think it's important for all medical students to take something like that because you need to know the system like the back of your hand if you want to navigate it yourself and also be able to help your patients navigate it. It is crazy how complicated our system is. Um, I'm really glad that in my gap years, I got a little bit of taste of that, you know, with working with insurance companies and pharmacies and all that, but there's so much more, especially when you're working in a hospital setting. So definitely excited to learn all about that. Um, but so lecture, it was like eight to 12, uh, and then came home, just kind of relaxed, did all my Anki, uh, did pre-work for tomorrow. And then I went to uh, our running club practice. It was the first time I ever went, uh, me and my roommates, and then a bunch of other M1s went. It was funny, there was literally only one M2 there who was leading the session, all the rest of us were M1s. We actually did a very intense workout. No one could actually complete the full workout that we wanted to. For those of you who don't know, a standard track is 400 meters all the way around, um, and then roughly four laps is a mile. So what we did was we would run two laps, just 800 meters at like a, at like a moderate six, out of 10 pace. Then for 200 meters, we would do like a lighter jog. And then for another 400 meters, so one more lap, we did like a eight out of 10. So you're running pretty fast. And then you had a two minute break before you did that again. And we were supposed to do it four times, but everyone tapped out at three, except for I think two of my classmates did the full four, but most of us, including my roommates, uh, we, we tapped out at three because it was pretty intense. 
It was very hot today. It was like 90 degrees and very humid, so everyone was dying. But it felt really good to run. I've never been a big runner. I've always just like either played sports or just lifted. So I definitely need to get more into it. So I'm excited to hopefully keep up with this running club to keep myself accountable and, and also just be able to socialize with other classmates. I think it's gonna be a really good way to incorporate running more into my workout routine. So after that, just came home, um, did a little bit more work, just completely finished up, uh, did a little bit of editing, and now I'm just chilling, uh, about to eat dinner and then go to sleep. I don't know if I'm gonna get up tomorrow and work out or work out at all for that matter, because I hit legs this morning and then did that run, which was probably a stupid idea. So we'll see how I'm feeling in the morning. Um, if I don't go to the gym, then I'll just knock out all of my Anki uh, before class. We also have a formative quiz that we have to do by Saturday night. It's not graded for accuracy, just for completion. And it's just like a way for us to test our knowledge. It is open note, but I'm probably gonna take it without notes just so I can have a good sense of like where I'm at knowledge wise. I think we're gonna have these every single week. So it's nice to have like a no stakes, just, just test of if you're studying the right material, if you need to work harder, if you're good. So I think I'm gonna take that like right after class tomorrow cause I don't really wanna do it Friday night or Saturday at all. So I might just stay at the school after our lectures and take it. So that's really it. Uh, I will check in with you guys tomorrow. All right, what is up everyone? It is Friday afternoon. I got home from school a little while ago. Today was one of our longer days, so uh, this morning, 8 a.m., we had a small group session where we went over our patient presentation for this week. So if you remember back on Monday, I talked about we had this patient who's a female, uh, was trying to conceive, and found out she was the carrier for a cystic fibrosis gene. So during the session, we just kind of talked about the case and incorporated all the stuff that we learned throughout the week. So we just talked about stuff like what actually is the mutation she has and how would that affect certain proteins that her body produces and, and how would that actually cause cystic fibrosis. So overall it was a nice session. Uh, we met our preceptor for the first time. Really nice guy, he's a pediatric endocrinologist over at the hospital. So that was like two hours long and then we had three back to back to back uh, short-ish hour lectures on some other stuff like population genetics. Um, we did one on X chromosome inactivation and then our last one was on mitochondrial diseases. And then when I got home, I actually took one of our quizzes. So every week we are gonna have a formative quiz, which it's not graded for accuracy, it's just completion. And it's sort of just to give us a sense of where we're at. So I didn't find it too difficult. There were definitely some that I had to think a lot about, but overall I think I'm, I'm doing well with keeping up with the material. We don't have our grades back. I don't know if we actually will get our grades back. Maybe, maybe they'll release the scores once it's due, which is Saturday night. Um, I just kind of wanted to get it out of the way instead of worrying about it tonight or anytime on Saturday, because I kind of want to relax as much as I can on the weekends. Yeah, so I officially completed my first week of my first block of medical school. It was kind of what I expected. It wasn't too bad because a lot of the stuff that we learned this week is just all review. And that'll continue for the next few weeks. But once we're into very new material, it's definitely going to pick up in terms of difficulty level. But that's really going to do it for today's video. I just kind of want to show my weekly schedule during class days with how much time I was spending in class and then also how much time outside of school I had to study. However, next video is going to be what my weekends are like. I'm pretty much going to pick it up right from when this video is ending. So be sure to look out for the video next week to see what a weekend in my life is like. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see videos like this in the future. Thanks and I'll see you on the next one.